If there is a fault with your boiler, then a fault code will show on your screen, for example F01, L02 or F03. Details of any fault codes can be located in the service and installation manual. There are certain faults that may not require a service engineer call out. On this particular video, we will be covering L02. When L02 is displayed, you will experience no heating and hot water. There are a few things that you could try to um, to clear the fault, to resume your heating and hot water. Number one, restart the boiler. Press and hold the restart button for five seconds and let go. Number two, check gas supply. Are other gas appliances working in your property, such as a gas cooker or a gas fire? If these appliances aren't working, then there could be an issue with the gas supply to your property, in which case you'll need to speak to your gas provider. Or if you have a gas meter at your property, check there is credit on the meter. Number three, check your gas isolation tap on the pipe work underneath the boiler is in the vertical position. If the tap is in the horizontal position, all you need to do is a quarter turn to move it into the correct position. Number four, is your boiler making bubbling or gurgling noises? This could mean that your condensate pipe that runs underneath your boiler and outside of your property into a main drain or soakaway could be blocked or frozen. If the temperature outside is freezing, then you can run warm water over the condensate pipe to defrost the water, allowing your boiler to fully operate again. Please note, you may need to restart your boiler again for this to occur. During the summer months, when the outside temperature is much warmer, then the bubbling and gurgling noises indicates your condensate pipe could be blocked, in which case you'll need to speak to your installer as this is not covered under your warranty as these parts are external to your boiler.